In the last video, we learned about online retail data set, how to import it as well as we saw the data cleaning steps before we start with customer segmentation using RFM modeling and k-means clustering. I also gave an introduction of RFM or recency frequency and monetary topic. This is the part two of customer segmentation project series. In this video, we would see the steps related to calculate the scores of each customer based on recency, frequency and monetary or RFM modeling to create several clusters of customers according to their spending behavior, recency purchases as well as how frequently they are buying. We would also look at how to create clusters of most loyal customers as well as the customers who are on the verge of churning out. That is, grouping them into various loyalty levels like Platinum, Gold, Silver and Bronze where Platinum group represents most loyal customers and Bronze group represents the group who has not purchased anything from quite long. Hello folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So let's jump straight into the code. So we will be calculating the recency, frequency and monetary values for each customer from the data set we have. So in the cell shown here, we need to first import the date time library and give it an alias name as DT. In the next line, we are setting up the latest date as December 10th, 2011 in the date time format. Please note that last invoice date in our data set is December 9th, 2011. And we are going to use this latest date to calculate the number of days from the recent purchases. So we have to set this latest date as the placeholder date from where we want to calculate the recency number. The less the recency number, the better it would be for RFM scoring. In the next line, we are calculating the recency, frequency and monetary values using just one line of code. So here we are first grouping all the transactions using customer ID here. And then we are using aggregate method here inside which we are using first this lambda function to subtract maximum invoice number which is represented by this code from latest date here which we calculated here as a result of this operation we will get a number which depict the recency so the next lambda function is calculating the frequency based on invoice number which is associated with transactions done by a specific customer this is being done using this alien method or function which counts the number of occurrences and the last lambda function here calculates the sum of total amounts for each customer and which represents how much a specific customer has spent till date. All these values are stored in a data frame called RFM scores. In the next line, we are just doing the type conversion for column invoice date to type int so that mathematical operations can be done in an easy way. And we are using the as type method to do this type of conversion. In the next line, we are just uh, renaming the column names to recency, frequency and monetary using method called rename here. And here we are passing two arguments. Number one argument uh, is columns, which represents a dictionary where the left hand side values represents the actual column names and right hand side values represents the new column names. And the second parameter is in place equals to true, which means we just want to perform a specific operation on the data set we have and we doesn't need any new copy of that data. So by keeping that as true, we won't get any new copy of it. Lastly, we are just taking a look at subset of data using head function. And uh, here reset underscore index function is being used to bring all the column names at the same level. When I ran the cell, we got the output as shown here. And if we pick the first customer represented by customer ID 12346, we see that recency score is 325. 
frequency is 1 and the monetary value is 77183.60 dollars. So we can make an assumption that uh, maybe some discount or offer was going on during the time of purchase. Okay, because this customer recency is 325. That means he has bought this pro product approximately 11 months ago. Moving on, in the next line, we are performing some descriptive statistics on recency column. And in order to do that, we are making use of method called describe which gives the descriptive statistics like mean, standard deviation, maximum value, minimum value, median value, etc. Please note that since I wanted the descriptive statistics for a recency column, hence I separated the recency column with data frame name using dot operator. And from this data we can see that even though the average is uh, 92, approximately 92 day recency, median is still 50 all right so this way we can uh, see the descriptive statistics for specific column values in the next cell i just wanted to see the recency distribution of data so i used the seaborn library to plot the histogram on recency column and we can see that data is right skewed here for this particular column i performed the same task for frequency and monetary column so you can take a look at uh, these cells as well i will be sharing this notebook on my github link link of which is provided at the very last of this video so you can just go over the notebook and see the similar kind of observations for frequency and monetary values as well or monetary columns as well in the next cell we are creating the quantiles like 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 so that we can subdivide the entire data set into four groups based on recency frequency and monetary values we have calculated earlier you can choose any quantile value as per your requirement or as per the business requirement for example you can have quantiles like 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 and 0.8 so it totally depends on your business requirement in the next line we are just converting uh, these quantiles into dictionary and you can see the data subdivision in the next cell here okay so this is the these are the quantiles all right next we are creating two uh, functions r scoring and f scoring here to in order to create segments which will be depicted by values 1 2 3 and 4 one important thing to note here is that in r scoring function we are assigning value 1 to the lowest value of recency because lower the value the better it is and which also means that customer is more engaged with a specific brand on the other hand f and m scoring function we are assigning value 1 to the highest value of frequency and monetary because higher the value of for frequency and monetary the better it is these inner workings of uh, these two functions is quite a straightforward so I'm not uh, diving deep to explain them but if in case you are not able to understand them then please leave a comment in the comment box of this video and I will revert with an explanation moving on to the next cell so in the next cell we are assigning the R F and M segment values like 1 2 3 and 4 for each customer for recency column we are using R scoring function and providing that function as an argument to apply method along with arg values as recency and quantiles similarly for frequency and monetary columns we are using f and m scoring functions and providing that function as an argument to apply method along with arg values as frequency and quantile as well as monetary and quantile respectively I wanted to see the output after adding these new columns called R, F and M. So I used the head method to print those first few records. And you can see that uh, new columns R, F and M got added with individual segment values for each customer. So this for this customer, the segment value is 441. In the next cell, I'm doing two things. First, I'm creating an RFM group and hence a new column with the name RFM group here for each customer. 
I'm actually concatenating individual R, F and M values and look at how are we converting these R, F and M values to a string form using this dot map method and in bracket str. This is being done so that we can easily check what particular segment or group a customer belongs to. In the next line, I am adding another new column called RFM score by summing up the values for R, F and M. So if you see here, 4 plus 4 plus 1 is equals to 9. Similarly, 1 plus 2 plus 2 is equals to 5. Hence, these values are assigned uh, accordingly for these customer IDs. Okay, so RFM score is nothing but sum of R, F and M value. So basically RFM score gives the score to a customer's loyalty or engagement. The lower the value of this RFM score is, the more loyal the customer would be as well as more engaged he would be with the brand. So let's move on to the next cell. So based on the RFM scores, we are assigning the loyalty levels to each customer and how are we doing that? Well, we are first creating four levels, namely platinum, gold, silver and bronze. So if a person is in platinum group, then it means that it's our most valuable customer and is in fact a loyal customer as well. And he's the one whom he, we don't want to lose. Okay. So the customer in bronze category is the one who hasn't purchased from the brand from quite long and he or she may be on the verge of churning out. Next, we are calculating the score cuts based on Panda's Q cut method. Here first argument depicts the name of the data frame column which in our case is RFM score and second argument is Q cut count which is kind of uh, representing bins containing the same number of records for each bin. Okay. And the third argument is labels which in uh, our case is loyalty level. Uh, which we defined above. So in the next line, we are actually creating new column called RFM loyalty level or RFM underscore loyalty underscore level containing these loyalty levels. So again, I just wanted to see uh, first few records of this RFM score after adding this new column. So when I ran the cell, you can see that RFM loyalty level column got added and it is now showing you the loyalty levels in terms of platinum, silver, gold, bronze level. So the customers with R, F and M value 111 got the loyalty level as platinum and the customer with RFM group as 441 got the loyalty level as silver. So this is the way we can assign the loyalty levels to each customer. So in the last Cell, I just wanted to validate that customers with RFM group 111 has loyalty level as platinum and indeed it is. So first I filter the data on the basis of RFM group equals to 111 which is the best group. Then I sorted it in descending order based on monetary value. You can see that customers with highest monetary value is kept at the top. And the customers with RFM group 111 got loyalty level as platinum. So based on this RFM modeling, what should be the marketing strategy now? Well, customers with RFM group 111 are the best customers and we can try to cross sell other products of our brand as well as we can encourage them to sign up for loyalty programs to enjoy some elite experiences like free same day shipping, priority access to newly launched products, etc. On the other hand, if the customer is falling into RFM group 444, then company may try to offer some reward or coupon to trigger the spending from these almost churned out customers. So folks, this is it for this video. In the next upcoming video, I will be covering another method of clustering the customer together or in other words, customer segmentation technique called K-means clustering. This way we can compare uh, both uh, RFM and K-mean clustering methods hand in hand. So here is today's question. Which one of the two options is correct from the RFM modeling perspective? Number one, the lower the recency value, the better it is. 
the higher the recency value the better it is please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you